Welcome back to the channel guys, today we are finally getting started on building a twin engine Fiesta. In this episode I'm going to go over the cleanup on the work I want to do on the inside. It's so stripped on um, some of the work that's been done has been rough because it was the intention on I like to clean it up. I'll show you in details what it is and Excitingly enough, because I found a good offer, we actually have a donor car arriving tomorrow. So we will go over that. Uh, it's obviously a Ford Puma 1.7, because this is what it has been designed to take at the rear. We can shove other engine in there, but for now, the aim is two Puma engine, one at the rear, one at the front. And um, it's probably going to be rear wheel drive for a while until we figure everything out and then we'll shop. But anyway, let me show you the mod I want to do. Okay, so to start with more cutting. So, you know, so it's more nice, flush and straight. Not sure what I'll do about the door handle. Same on the other side, same for those bit here. You know, just keep going like that, basically. And for the cage, I think, I mean, some of it I'm going to keep, some of it like, for example, this barrier, if you look, is so badly aligned that, you know, you only got a small fraction. Like in a crash, this is more likely to go this way than do anything. Here there's a massive gap there as well, uh, which is the case for a lot of them. This one is more of a pain to sort out because it's basically attached to the front as well so I might leave with it considering the other side is done okay that bar across there has to go because of this as you can see there I don't have much cash to buy more metal but basically what I'm going to do is unlock, remove that those one, those two and then basically redo this one but bring it down and align it up with this one for better structure and it also means that basically we reduce the diagonal which means I'll be able to trim that and have it flush the other side considering the amount of weld I'm guessing was the same and you know for symmetry we will need to do it anyway but yeah kind of align it with that which uh, I think it, it look, will look better too and essentially on that side get rid of this it's a bit mashed up as, as well anyway so what I was thinking is maybe reuse some bit of that and do a couple of bars attached to this bar and that way it means we are clear to be able to set up our sidebar, align them with that as well. So essentially, you know, the X, that one will align with that one, that one will align with that one. Essentially, we just squeeze the X a bit more. Those ones are not actually on too bad. I mean, again, you know, they pop out from the colon. I could leave with it, because we could essentially just put a plate eventually at the top, which I think is going to be the aim to clean up everything. But this has basically been crushed instead of cut in order to accommodate those. And those they are only welded at the top and on, on, underneath you can see you know they are not they are not flush. This one is better aligned. So I think those two basically are going to go going to chop this cleanly and then put them back but slightly lower so so they don't pop out like that basically this is going to remove it's not that we couldn't do this one but you know not very nice not very nice plus we've got a cage we don't really need that if we had a bar <coughs> between there or if i put a plate there you can then just you know, weld the bar. I mean, the advantage, I guess, is here you could remove it, but yeah. Oh, yeah, you see what I mean by the cuts as well. 
all along markets as well here it was already marked so basically yeah, drop a bit more weight clean up a bit everything because after we've got bits in like the arches as well where you know that area over there it's a bit of a of a mess some of the structural stuff where basically the puma joins the fiesta what i might do for some of them i might not do myself but go to rob purely to kind of reinforce uh, all of that and make it sort of nice and clean all right managed to take those off but yeah you can see like this start to finish here the pipe was arriving up to here and i've checked i will have enough left to fix it i've actually chopped those as well so the crush part is done still need to clean up obviously what i'm going to do is all those stack of panel I'm going to bash them together and then i'm basically going to go around I need to clean that up and weld all of them as well on here this bar i think it's only all done by some welder so i think i'm going to remove as well because look at that mess yeah and we don't need any of that at all so we can basically get rid of all of that all right so the stock bar removed still uh, i need to clean up that up <coughs> and i've chopped the door some more I need to clean up the edge and still need to finish up that corner and what I've done is actually got rid of the door handle and I was thinking if we don't keep windows if we had it with no windows we we'll weld the door and you just clamp through the window yeah. but yeah, I've kind of like, I've cut the cable anyway, so. Alright, more progress as you can see. So basically, the X bar that's over there, it's gone from this side. Uh, the door is very much a lot emptier. As you can see, look, even like the, that's for the window. We don't need it all the way down, don't even know whether we're going to have windows or not windows. This I need to get in there, but we can get rid of that as well, because... Oh, mind you. No, the bar has been cut yet. So there's no point getting that, but yeah. It's very light. <laughs> okay, I think it's fair to say they look a lot better. They're not perfect by any means, but... They will be plated anyway. Cleaned up that edge as well. Because you know, my welds are not good enough to be on display. Plus it make it look a bit neater. Try more of the stuff popping out there. Oh, actually I need to finish that bit there. I'm basically going around. Yeah, still need to clear up. Uh, going around and cleaning up wherever rust has started what i'm going to do is put the jack lift it up do it from underneath as well and i've got plenty of anti-rust primer on black matte paint now so basically the goal is to try to at least get the engine bay clean and sorted because i'm very eager to put the engine of that in there all right one wheel off it's actually not bad around there, you know? That section, not too bad, at least rust-wise. Tiny bit here. One thing we'll need to change is those guys there. We'll probably upgrade the bar itself as well anyway. Maybe put some adjustable one there. It's the same state on the other side. <laughs> He's not holding on too much at all. But trying to remove that crap like that as well. I know you can go with degreaser and stuff, but considering the number of settings, I'm just turning it down. During the day, <laughs> you can see we've got a little bit of coverage to do on the wings as well. But yeah, starting to clean up those, still quite a mess. 
it's a bit you know you need to try to get close to it without cutting into the metal too much you know yeah a tiny bit the trouble with this one is <coughs> The more I look at it, the more I want to do to it, because you know that bar. You know, a lot of people are going to look at the rear, so... Okay, that did it, as long did it. <laughs> I'm actually going to remove those as well. This one is not too bad, I was going to actually aim to replace it, and I might keep this one on. But this one, as you can see, look, it's all cracked. Here we go. Like I said, this one now, now I've patched the metal quite strong. It wasn't perfectly flat anymore, so I've chopped a bit. Okay, not a bad first session. So it was getting a bit late, so I basically welded all of the sheets together. Yeah, we actually had a small hole in the tower, so I did a little pile, and yeah, there was a little bar, so I did a little pile as well that I can send, so at least even metal-wise, metal -wise, we are closer to it. Okay, our crossbar has been removed, cleaned up as well, still need to clean up a tiny bit more, but it's getting there, cleaned up there, and here, I think, I think I'm going to stop here with the chopping. I mean, obviously, I still have to finish that one. It's just because I've locked myself, so I need to lock the door so I can finish it off. Uh, but I think otherwise, yeah, apart from the X, which is already pre-cut anyway, I think that it's only on from, like, one side on the half, really. And yeah, see? That sort of will look better. Then we'll put the crossbar up to here. That's going to join up here so we don't see the little gap at the back. On ideally, what I quite like, and I've got enough bar, is put another one across to join up where that bar is, so that when you're at the back, you get a proper X, if you know what I mean. To that to patch up as well is going to be a pain in the neck, but I'm going to chop this bit here to put a bit here, and I think what I'll do is chop a bit of that weld it behind there and then you know we can just use a bondo or whatever on the outside to fill up the hole and stuff but uh, yeah i'm actually quite pleased and uh, now that it's all sorted i don't mind those two bits you know so <laughs> i really am going to leave them considering so far i've removed one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen yeah look at that it's not even welded you're already holding on your boy is a pro oh here we go they're not looking too bad the world are not as great because i ran out of gas but you know strong as you like yeah it's nice and strong no rust no hole that's where the exhaust was essentially but when the engine is in there at the front we will have the inlet at the rear here i don't know what height but we will have the exhaust and that's where the exhaust manifold went and basically it was going in there with aid but that is too traditional We've got four pipes that want to come out here. What we'll do, I'm guessing, what I think we want to aim for is basically straight. Four straight pipe come out. I mean, I guess we'll have to make them come out from here rather than the air because we've got the bumper, but yeah. <laughs> okay, so I think I am going to just chop it and turn it into a pickup.
them. I mean, obviously, very rough cuts, but oh man, I'm glad they did it. Otherwise, they love it. And obviously, still need to like chop the bumper as well to finish that bit, but. Oh yeah, just imagine it with a bit cleaned up. Yeah? That looks sick. That's the second door that is also chopped. Alright, so... Chopped a bit more here. Here I think, well, maybe a question of not cutting too much on when you do the bed. Have an edge that come back. And then make it smooth all around. Chop the bumper a bit uh, quickly as well, wide again. Yeah, the trick is going to be make it nice and straight at the back. But uh, yeah, from the chopping point of view, it's pretty much there. And yeah, what I want to do, although we still have a tiny bit to remove here and there, so we can do a final weight later. I'm really curious about how much weight we've removed so far. And 75. Roughly 15 kilograms there, about 5 kilograms there, 87, that's about 12 there. So yeah, we so far roughly chopped another 30 kilograms, not counting the windows, because there'll be obviously two less windows and stuff like that. And I think not all the catch bar are going in, so a few kilograms there. So hopefully, close to 40 we should get when it's all done. We'll have to find somewhere to weigh it when it's all done. But yeah, otherwise, should be good. Because it means even with two engines, we might even be under the 900 kilogram mark, if not less. Okay, so more work. What I've done is chopped a bit off the roof to fill this up. It's plenty strong enough, everything else I'm going to do it with like polyfill and stuff. I don't have the welding skill to fill all of that with weld. Alright, so this we need more work as you've seen, but the whole body <laughs> need more work. So body I'm going to leave to the end, at least the whole is patched, I'll paint it black, it look alright. I've reach up those. Yes, they look fine, so basically line up with this and then what I think I'm going to do is actually get a template put some plate here and maybe with the roof actually just try and do a cardboard template that will fill that in and potentially try to weld something in there and then I could eventually do the same from the rear this I don't think I've got enough length but here we'll have this as well you obviously kind of want to cover that. Every trim the rear better. So that side match a bit more with that side is still you know still not great. And and when I done this side I went deep a bit, so you can see it's not it's not straight. But I'm going to have to remove that to do a bunch of stuff, so we'll get it right later plus it doesn't need to be perfect because you know we'll probably have a bit of the bed going on it. Or I was thinking if you want to do a proper one, you then chop those and then do a proper, you know, like a pickup. But in theory, that's probably where the exhaust is going to come out. So I don't know if it's really worth doing or not. But yeah, I'm basically stopping here with that for now. Yeah, on the other side, you see. And the top is more or less straight as well you got to love black mat look at that it's really bad but you can't really tell until you can close after if you come here oh god again i'll sort out the rest later i've actually removed the wing as well i'm not going to have the intake there so <laughs> you know i'm going to fix that up i think the wings i'm not for the pickup the rear that sort of work nicely but those actually weigh quite a bit. I'm pretty sure for like 25, 35 quid, I can get brand new wing. So I think that's what I'm going to do, get two 
new wings and maybe keep it wide at the rear only for now we'll see unless i can get different style wide arches but i'll see i think to start with we'll just go plain one yeah on here you can see here i think that was has been patched and look if you can see here all a bit deformed all right before i crack on with attaching the cage i'm going to patch the sky as well a little template i just need to cut it and then after i need to do another one on the inside as well all right it's not that pretty but it will do okay so i moved on to basically doing the door bars that one still need refining it's not quite aligned yet but yeah you see what i mean kind of like it's more aligned with the bar it feels more white plus it's slightly lower so you know it's actually easier to get in the car all right door bars done nice and easy to come in you still have a bit of room for it up line up all to the bottom go up and line up all right we are yet another day i've actually been out here since 8 a.m uh, we are saturday now so i think it's what slightly over two weeks since best i've been here but yeah kind of started to prime basically the bar that are set i still need to do some welding here and there but you know you clear your spray kind of situation started to clean nicely on the inside as well i need to finish the reparation of the floor there this one i don't know whether to leave it or i don't know i might, I might just use the other one and then do some plates to go alongside there you know to kind of flat like that we are starting to like remove all that grubby stuff i just do it with a grinder i need to take that out to clean it up from the rust and paint it as well uh, yeah and now it's raining no that is not going to stop me i wanted to have a good clean on the inside and stuff so i've got my bucket i can do the cleaning on the crossed fingers the sun come back, everything dry nicely, and I can keep on going. So, but some of the tube prime, I'm not going to like prime everything, I'm just going to prime what needs to be protected from the rust. But I took three cans of primer and 12 cans of paint, so I think I need to order more primer because I'm already on my last one, and we still have a fair amount of work to do around there okay so after the primer i might have got carried away with the paint a little bit it's not all ready to paint yet on some bit i'll have to like sand off to put more bars in but you know might as well uh, yeah this should get an idea you know what i mean this looks cleaner i mean if you pay attention you can see all the cuts and stuff but already a lot more discreet i mean look at that compared to that yeah <laughs> on the new little hole i'm going to patch ironically enough all the sealants they make to stop the water when i remove it nowhere is rusted apart from under the sealant so yeah good call <laughs> uh, so i still need to go around and add a bit more well but like i said here i'm actually going to keep that open so the draining still work in the little be nice to reopen it on the other side but yeah continuing that side as well but i'm going to let it uh, cool down a bit and mostly for my back i'm going to put the first bar so that's the bar that basically go from here to line up with our top bar that come here how much you can well you can tell anyway i've already cleared it up it doesn't look too bad that way, but I cocked it up big time. 
Check this out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, way too low. Balls. I should have covered it. It's actually raining in the night. Oh, remove this rust bit twice already. Balls. Alright, well, it's back on. Only lined up better, but now it was too short. So as you can see, there's still a bit offset to that. But at least it's not popping up. Don't see the. But yeah, basically it was too. I had no bar long enough. So I had to do like a jigsaw here, which looks terrible, but hopefully will be under the bed. But yeah. Don't have money to buy more metal, so. And those two. One is. Bended anyway, so we'll look up. And the other one is even shorter than this one. I mean, once you've got the bed on all, you know, all in black mat, that will do, but it's going to annoy me because I know it's there. But anyway, at some point I'll get another bar and bloody redo it. If I can be asked. Maybe once it's up and running and I have fun with it, I won't care. Only a tiny bit on the other side, and the painting is done. And here we go, that's the state so far, and that is where I'm going to stop in this episode. The goal was mostly to get ready the rear to take the engine. But as you can see, I got a bit carried away, so I ended up doing more than I thought. I ended up converting it into a pickup. After, I still have that stuff to attach to the bar and sort out the rust on it but I want to be able to concentrate on emptying the donor car putting the engine in the rear and that we can actually free up the space I still have two cars to come and at some point we still need to get a micro for that bike engine so <laughs> yeah we need to make some room but yeah otherwise I'm quite pleased I mean we fixed all the hole on the inside there is some work to be done underneath the car, but it's not actually too bad. All the inside is black matte. Kind of really hides the imperfection, I think. Looks better. The overall shape is nice. Plus, here for the next step, especially to build the bed, we kind of want to know where the engine is going to be at, where it's going to be sitting, where will the exhaust go and stuff like that so then after we can do our bed and then our separation but you know everything is kind of nice and clean already like that i mean obviously here you know we could do this plate on filling up the gap here but even like that it looks pretty good the front wing like i said i'm just going to order a couple of new ones i need to get more paint as well it's the same, the bonnet, I need to do it in matte and we need to do something about those I mean they're all rusted and I don't know whether to keep them, not keep them We should see, same for the front Might do another bash bar Because that one is already pretty hammered in anyway But we will see At the moment I didn't want to buy more metal Still more to do in the cage as well we still need to put some bars back here, <coughs> do a rex, and then put a bar for the harness. But again, just like for the bed, I'm waiting for the engine to be able to design the bed properly. We kind of want a couple of seats in there so that we know what the best position for our strap. Obviously, as we did the pickup conversion, we are going to kind of want to finish here so we probably don't want the belt to come behind the wall obviously but yeah no i think uh, a good start i'm really pleased and to be honest it's about time i stop uh, give the uh, neighbors a little break they haven't actually complained but I don't know if you can see it there. I've put actually a sign to say thank you for your patience and sorry about the noise on letting them know the long session are over. 
for now. Yeah, cleaned up the wheel as well. So I probably will keep them for a while, but just get them in black mat after we need something a bit lot chunker, obviously, and a lot lighter too. Uh, yeah, overall we've dropped 30 kilograms, so that's pretty impressive. Uh, I don't know, yeah, here you go, that's better lightning. But yeah, that pesta has been with me 18 days. I didn't do anything on the first day, so that's 17 days worth of work. And I've got a full-time job, and I wish I did 40 hours. Well, I didn't wish, I love my job. Uh, I do more than uh, 40 hours voluntary. I make it sound bad. <laughs> but uh, Pesta, I've spent, I think I'm at like 60, 70 hours already spent on it. I really need to get rid of that bloody washing machine, don't I? <laughs> But yeah, you know, on 30 kilogram drop is not too bad. But yeah, anyway guys, I'm going to finish it here. And I'm going to essentially put Pesta. Now it's going to go in the garage. I'm going to get the Tigra out. And uh, probably from tomorrow, or even a bit tonight, essentially start stripping it down. Um, and yeah, I'll give you a good tour of it first in the next episode and then we'll strip it down. Plenty of cool stuff we can get back, like I think I might uh, reuse the speedometer. The gear shift is actually quite nice, it's not Puma as well. So uh, yeah, but anyway, uh, if any of you made it that far, I'll try to condense all that work close enough. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think, especially of the pickup conversion. After the cage and stuff, you know, I'm, I'm no professional welder and everything. I think the connection and stuff, uh, it flows better for me. So, you know, that's the main thing. And uh, yeah, anyway, I'll go switch those car and uh, see you in the next episode, guys. Bye.